Welcome to Howie's Kitchen. I'm excited to bring you this one today. We're doing harissa chicken with chickpeas and a spicy yogurt sauce. Let's get to work. First things first, let's get our oven heating up to 425 degrees and let's put one to two tablespoons of olive oil in a skillet on medium high heat on your stove. We're gonna start off getting our yogurt put together. Um, we need about six ounces of a plain just Greek yogurt. Um, I'm using Shabani, doesn't have to be that, it could be anything. We're gonna do one tablespoon of harissa paste. And we're gonna do about a tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then we're gonna season with just a little bit of salt and pepper here. Let's get that mixed thoroughly. And we're gonna put this in our refrigerator and just let that sit while we're cooking. Let those flavors build together. We're gonna take six boneless, skinless chicken breast, seasoned with salt and pepper, and let's get those in our skillet here. And I always season just the first side, and then once I put them in the pan, I season the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. We're gonna let these cook for about four or five minutes or so. We just wanna get them browned. These are gonna go in five minutes, so I'm gonna flip them over. We're gonna let these go another five minutes, and then we're gonna remove them from the pan. Okay, our chicken's been going for about 10 minutes total. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. And we're gonna reduce our heat down to medium. And then we're gonna add one whole onion. You wanna cut it up into 12 wedges. So cut it in half and then cut each half into six wedges. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of minced garlic. We're gonna let this cook down for a couple of minutes um, just until the onions start to soften a little. All right, our onions have been going for about three or four minutes here. So we're gonna add in two tablespoons of tomato paste. And we're gonna let this cook a little bit. We just wanna get it to where it browns just a tad. Just a little trick that uh, I use. I'll open a whole can. I mean, I know they sell it in twos, but we have these handy dandy little uh, ice cube trays. And what, just one of these, just about, about three quarters full is a tablespoon. So I take the excess out of a can of tomato paste, fill this up, pop it in the freezer, put them in a Ziploc and, you know, easy one tablespoon tomato paste whenever I need it. Tomato paste has got browned a little bit. So we're gonna add one can of drained and rinsed chickpeas or garbanzo beans. We're gonna add a quarter, I'm sorry, a half a cup of chicken broth. And we're gonna add in a quarter cup of harissa paste. So if you've never heard of harissa or don't know where to get it, um, we get this at Cost Plus. You can also, I'm sure you can get it through Amazon. There's also videos out there. Um, I found, I came across one video. I haven't tried the recipe yet, but I'm certainly gonna give it a try. Um, I'll leave the link to that video in, in the uh, description along with the recipe and the, the full uh, directions on how to make this dish tonight. Okay, so now that we got this up to a simmer, we're going to go ahead and add our chicken to the pan. Let's get this uh, buried down in there. We're going to take this, we're going to put it in the oven, we're going to let it bake at 425 for about 20-25 minutes and we'll see what we get. Alright, our timer just went off. All right, so now that we're out, um, we're gonna garnish this with a little bit of cilantro, and I'll show you the plating here in just a second. All right, so we're gonna garnish this off with a little more cilantro and a lemon wedge, and we're gonna add our harissa spicy yogurt. Um, I put a little bit over the top. I also put a little on the side. So here you go. 
harissa chicken with chickpeas and spicy yogurt. Enjoy. Thank you.